if you've lived in Ghana and you don't know how to say this, it means, Charlie, you did not live in Ghana. If you know Ghanaians and their level of respect, the way they carry their culture, the way they, they react to things, ah, my brother, my sister, you never start. Welcome back and welcome back again to the channel. See your favorite girl. UJTV aka Mami Ekuya. So on today's video, I'll be sharing a particular video of our own beloved wife from Kenya. This person is married to one of the popular content creators called Budimaya. She shared the experiences here in Ghana. The first time she came to Ghana, she was totally shocked. Because where she's coming from, their culture is different from Ghana. She's coming from the East Africa and getting married to someone from the West Africa. The cultural differences is too much so she shared her experiences in a podcast and i'm gonna be sharing the video here with you all to see and after watching this video i will come here and tell you my own experience about this particular issue she said here please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like comment and share let's watch this video guys i feel like Ghanaians are very concerned they are very people who are really holding on to their culture they are very respectful in kenya you don't say please all the time please 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 no just go to the point what do you want you know just say it and thank you that's it but in ghana oh please please how are you that, that one shocked me i won't lie that was a shock please how are you are, are you serious please how are you Ghanaians? so people used to think i'm so rude because i just go straight to the point and i'm not rude connected minds podcast one of the things that have really shocked me about Ghanaians is how polite and how like kind and respectful they are to an extent i was even telling someone yesterday that i feel like uh, i'm rude it's so crazy that i don't know how to say good morning good afternoon good evening ghana is very safe that i can just walk with my phone not caring people are not telling me to take care of, of my belongings you are holding these phones here everywhere you know that especially as a vlogger compared to how i do it in my country i have to like hold my phone like my life depends on it People here are more accommodative and friendly to the camera. Like I feel like if you are a solo traveler and you're starting to travel in a solo country, the first one, even as a female, as a black person, I would recommend Ghana. Because wow. when you're traveling, there's so many things you need to have in your head. Like you need to figure out your your location, is the internet working, you know? Like there's so many things. So if you can reduce the amount of... I've been walking out in the streets at night and I feel safe. I love everybody. But if you're traveling to Ghana, expect a lot of your hospitality conversations to start with, yes, please. Just like this. Hello. What's your name? Welcome to Exhale Lounge. Yes, please. My name is Kweku Frimpong. Kwame, does the food that I ordered have nuts in it? Because I have a nut allergy. Yes, please. Oh, no. It doesn't have nuts. Just um, peanut paste. Okay, let me order something else. Oh, yes, please. No, we don't have. The, the kitchen is closing. How long is the food going to take? Yes, please. Um, Let me just go and check with the chef. I'm coming. Ah. But you check five times. One hour for soup. Just come on a mutuo. I mean, press up. Yes, please. Please, sir. It's coming. Yeah. Exercise patience, please. Me poucho. Why? Please. Eh? It's coming. Okay. You have five minutes. Please. My food. I'm waiting. I'm hungry. Yes, please. And um, please, sir. Can you wear your face max? COVID's finished. Yes, please. But it's in the air. We still have. I don't understand. Yes, please. You see, when people from the East Africa come down here to West Africa, a lot of them get a shocker. Like they get shocked to the level of respect, to the level of respect the people from West Africa have. Or should I say, East Africans, you guys have been westernized. <laughs> because Miss Trudy said she came down here to Ghana and she was hearing a lot of please. Please hear, please dear, please come, please go, please sit, please stand. She was like, Aden. She was like, what is happening? Aden means what? What is happening? She was totally shocked to the level of respect these people are. And one thing I love about the East African people is that they are very, very... Once an East African person from the Kenyan, Uganda, all those want to say something, they are so truthful about it. They say it the way it is in their mind. You know, it is not as if they are trying to sugarcoat it or trying to make something out of it. No, she just poured out how she felt when she came down here to Ghana. I know, and being... A foreigner here in Ghana, not just Thai alone, there are a lot of people that have also experienced this, you know. There are lots of people, when they come, even my Nigerian people, when they come here, the level of please, please, please that is in Ghana here, Charlie, is too much. Nigerians, they will come to Ghana, they say, ah, this please, I don't pack please food for my head. Like, this please is choking. What is this, Ghanaians? Why is it that every time, 
please that me patcho me say ah uh ah -uh. patchai patchai hey what did they happen ganians you so it is not only mystery that is shocked to see this act of respect ganians had towards people you know that she even said that she is even sure that people are calling themselves anti this anti cynthia uh brother kofi she was like what is all this you know coming from east africa coming from kenya she said you can just call their name kofi cynthia without having to add brother or auntie like the respect is choking her that she became so confused that why do these people respect people and one thing i love about ghana is that they they, they they hold their culture in high esteem they value their culture you know they respect their culture they i don't know how to put it but they just have this respect towards culture even their attire they can't take clothing when they put it on they put that clothing with dignity they put on the wear their that their can take clothes or fabrics with dignity you don't know they're wearing it anyhow just like the way Ghanaians wear their funeral clothes, like every Saturday, Friday, from Friday morning, they're already preparing their funeral clothes, ironing, as in ironing it, washing it, or whatever. The way they respect that funeral clothes, they don't wear it anyhow. So Ghanaians in Ghanaians have each cloth have each meaning. Each cloth has uh, has each meaning, has different meaning. Each clothing they, they sell on the market has different meaning. I remember the first time I went to Ghana, I saw that fabric, that uh, funeral fabrics. I fell in love with it. God, God please, oh, I have fabric. And I said, let me get it. So my friend told me, this is a funeral fabric that I can't buy. So what do you mean funeral? What is funeral? I, I said, I didn't understand. I said, do you people have funeral fabric? Because I know in my country, Nigeria, we can just wear anything we like for funeral. Or we can just assign a particular, uh, let's wear white. Everybody should put on black. Like we don't have a particular fabric that they wear for funeral. But here in Ghana, they do. They have a particular fabrics for funeral, and that fabric is looking beautiful. If you say let me go and buy it and wear, you don't know. You don't wear it anyhow. It is for a specific day. To tell you the level of respect these people have for their culture, they have clothing for weddings, like for weddings, any occasions they have. The the fabrics for occasions, like they love put. Even Sunday wears Ghanaians love white, so. The market they sell a lot of white fabrics every sunday you see a ghanaian lady a ghanaian man rocking their white fabrics to church because they believe that is a holy day so you're supposed to be dressed in white <laughs> you know to tell you the level of um respect these people have for their culture and they don't miss it it's not that they will do it today tomorrow they won't do it no just like my people they just do it today tomorrow they'll just throw it away but ghanaians that thing remains that thing Every Friday, their funeral where you see it everywhere, red and black, red and black. You be asking yourself, what is happening? But you don't know. Everybody is going for funeral. Then there's people like funeral too much. <laughs> Everybody is preparing for funeral. You go to your customer shop. Oh, I'm not around. I went to Kumasi. I went for funeral. Oh, I'm in Kumasi. I went to my uncle's funeral. You know, those people respect their culture. They respect everything that has to do with them. So when a Ghanaian wants to ask you something, they put please. It has even taught me a lot. It has even taught me to even ask, please. When you ask me, I'll say, no, please. Yes, please. You know, it is funny, but it is their culture. That is the, their way of life. They grew up acting that way. They grew up because their parents taught them to be respectful. Ghanaians are taught to be respectful to the elders. You can't give an elderly person something with your left hand. Even if you're a, le you're a left-handed person, you still have to transfer it. You see how your brain will be configured to transfer it to the right hand. You know? So they respect, they love respecting people. They value respect. They value culture. That is one thing. So Miss Trudy, don't get surprised because now you're a Ghanaian and you've known the, the, the do's and don'ts of Ghanaians. You've known how they behave, their culture. And all those that want to come to Ghana, don't come to Ghana here. Yeah. When they tell you, please, you get surprised. You're like, why are you telling me, please? Don't get surprised. It is their nature. They are brought up to respect people. They are, it's, it's like a normal language to them, like a normal thing to them to respect people. It is a norm for Ghanaians. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever, ever, Mami Kriya, one of one of YouTube, Mami Kriya, one of the Shante Kingdom post amazing videos. Please thumbs up, like, and share. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.